Morning, peeps. I'm reading. This is by uh, Claire Cherry Reeves. The verse for today is Proverbs 19, 11. Good sense makes one slow to anger and is this glory to overlook an offense. This one is, oh, yeah, it bites me. <laughs> if there was a literal roadblock in the middle of your driveway, would you move it out of the way before attempting to drive anywhere? Or would you choose to tear up the yard by avoiding it or go ahead and hit it, damaging your car instead? It seems like the silliest question, and yet this is often how we handle offenses in our lives. An offense is that like a roadblock, we are the ones who decide whether it remains because we are the ones who placed it there from the start. Our feelings were hurt or our pride was bruised and the offense feels justified. However, the problem with the offense is that it most affects the one who is offended. Many times, everyone else keeps backing out of their own driveway, moving on with life, while the offended are left stagnant, frustrated, and prideful. This doesn't mean that the other person was necessarily in the right, but that is the issue with the offense. We make it about right or proving a point. If we think about it, how many times was Jesus betrayed, forgotten, and rejected throughout the scripture? How would scripture look differently if he had taken offense to the words and actions of those around him instead of basing his thoughts, actions, and hope on the foundation of the Heavenly Father? Instead, Jesus took the cross. He covered all of our offenses, allowing us to live lives of promise and peace until we became perfect with him. How would our own lives look differently if we made a concerted effort to let go of our offenses and forgive freely? Tough to do. We would be able to run hard after Jesus and trust him to sort out any infraction or bitterness we may be feeling along the way. When we choose to focus on the grace that we have been offered, our hearts are more apt to offer grace to others. Since we know that injustice and sin will always be a part of this world, we also know that offenses will always be an, op an option. But that is a beauty. We get to choose. We have Christ and we can decide to forgive those who trespass against us, just as he forgives us our trespasses against him. Our effectiveness is not made possible in proving a point but in pointing to Jesus, we will always benefit from honoring God over our feelings. This week, let's look for opportunities to forgive rather than opportunities to offend. What a game changer that would be. And there's another verse on here that I really liked. Um, Matthew 18, 21 and 22. Peter came to him and asked, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? No, not seven times, Jesus replied, but 70 times seven. This kind of hits home hard. You know, there's so many times that people have done things, and sometimes they don't even know what they've done. They've just offended to the point where you're just, ugh. But how many times do we carry that with us and drag it around and show it off? <laughs> Look what somebody did to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm guilty as charged. I really am. And it's too bad because I, in truth, usually the other person is not affected at all. It's just me carrying that instead of letting it go and let God deal with it. I need to work on that. I got my book peeps. Good morning, Heavenly Father. I'm so grateful that you're there to help us through these trials and tribulations and to be able to forgive because we couldn't do it without you. I'm lifting up my peeps, Lord, the ones in the book and the ones that are not in the book and help them also to learn forgiveness. Sometimes it's extremely hard for us humans to be able to do that. We 
keep wanting to carry that grudge. I thank you and I praise you, Lord. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.